to show you or rather teach you how to create a drop down menu for edit and format using its codes through Visual Basic. Now, I'm gonna need you to keep in mind the formula object that method because it's the main thing that you need to remember in making Visual Basic projects. Let's begin! First off, open your Microsoft Visual Basic. Click New Project and afterwards, under the Visual Basic template, click Windows Forms Application. Name. You can choose whatever is the name of your project. It's your choice. So now that you have created your project, you can start designing your Form 1. To start with, click the toolbox and go to Menus and Toolbars. Toolbox. So yeah, here are the tools used in Visual Basic projects. We're gonna go to Menus and Toolbars. Double click menu strip or just drag it into the form, whatever makes it easier for you. Once you've done it, it's gonna appear at the top left corner of your form. Next, under common controls, click or drag the reach text box. Common controls. There. So, why is it reach text box instead of text box? It's true that they both allow us to edit the text, but in text box, when you make a list, the properties are all the same. Meanwhile, in which text box, when you make a list, the property for each text can change. Now let's just put this in the middle because it's so frustrating. There. Now, going back to the menu strip, type edit in your menu strip. Under the Edit drop-down menu, type the following, copy, paste, undo, redo, cut, and select all. There. Let's proceed to the codes. As I have said earlier, the formula, which is object.method, is the only thing that you need to remember. Double click on copy to go to the code editor window. Type the reach text box one dot copy. Reach text box one is your object and copy is your method, meaning you want to see the method inside the reach text box one. Now do this for all the choices under the edit drop down menu. Okay, now that we're done there, let's proceed to the next drop-down menu, which is the format. So go to menu strip, type format, and under the format menu, type select for color. Next, we're gonna have to go back to the toolbox, go to dialogs, and select color dialog. Double click the select for color to go to its codes. Add the following codes and as usual it is object that method. Your object is the color dialog 1 and your method which is show dialog. Meaning you want to show the color dialog in the rich text box 1. Now that you have done everything, try starting your program. Let's try visual basic. Edit, select all, cut. It's 
so our edit works. Let's try the format. It worked. See, it's not that hard, is it? 